Royal Flora Holland is a company that exists for over 100 years and we're a big marketplace for flowers and plants. We have a 4.7 billion euro market share worldwide. We are the biggest in the world. In Europe we have a 60% share. Royal Flora Holland is uh, traditionally an auction system where we use Dutch auctioning, which is a system where you uh, start with a high price and the price goes down until somebody says, I want it, and uh, you get it for that price. During the years, we have grown and combined multiple auctions into one big company, which we know now as Royal Flora Holland. Uh, we still do the auctioning system, but we also provide all sorts of uh, other services like financial services or logistic services uh, like you see behind me right now. So we started uh, one and a half year ago with uh, uh, digitizing our world basically, which we uh, built for, with a new team uh, which we call uh, the Digital Greenhouse. When we started the Digital Greenhouse we selected a couple of uh, key partners we wanted to work with because when we started we had nobody in place. CBA is one uh, of the selected partners uh, of which we know have speciality in different areas of the platform we were going to build. We've got uh, three main use cases right now in the digital greenhouse, um, which are the image quality recognition, we have uh, a prediction of the number of trolleys coming in, and we have a recommended system. So the uh, idea behind the Xevia group is that we offer professionals from different groups and specialities. So we've got a security group, we've got a uh, agile group, uh, a cloud group and a data group. The recommender engine currently is based on a lot of Spark. And so we basically try to figure out, hey, uh, certain types of grower buyers actually uh, like to buy certain types of flowers. like. For example, some buyers are more upmarket. So we apply a couple of heuristics and a little bit of domain knowledge to facilitate this. Um, a lot of that is done in Spark. What we also do now is we try to figure out if this one particular type of flower is no longer available because it's been auctioned off. Uh, the next thing we, we want to do is recommend products that are comparable. So for that, we are uh, investing in things like Elasticsearch, which we're hosting on AWS, because you can do some interesting things with search there. One of the challenges we had is uh, how we were going to run a Spark cluster because we didn't want to have it online all the time but we wanted to spin it up when we need it and when we're done, uh, uh, shut it down. And we were looking in the market for different solutions and then we found that AWS SageMaker came around the corner uh, which was kind of like a pleasant surprise for us because it really fit our needs. The fun thing about these days is if you want to then sort of play around with, wow, let's do something with image uh, detection. It's never been easier to get started with some of these things. I think we have gone from like a proof of concept to something that's fully in production in a matter of, you know, months, but maybe even weeks. Um, doing that is amazing. And definitely if you can do that at a company that has a bit of influence and huge skill potential, uh, you can really do a lot of good.